you woke up tomorrow and natural gas was gone or it got polluted or contaminated or something last night while we all slept. When we woke up, the United States of America, our entire reserves got wiped out. What would you do? Right? So that's a real, real, real question, okay? Highly unlikely? Absolutely. Coal? Natural gas, the two major things that keep and power electricity in this country, for now, I can't stress that part enough, because it will be solar, it will be wind and hydro, and I can't wait for my kids to see that, and for me to see that. I am so excited about that part. But, it's a real question. If natural gas, if you woke up tomorrow and on Fox or CNN or whichever you listen to, however you get your news, your Facebook was just full of, oh my God, what happened last night? The world's going to end. My electricity bill is going to skyrocket because that's what would happen, right? If that was to take place, you're on the way to work and you hear natural gas prices went ballistic last night, all of a sudden, Solar panels, the people that already have them, like us on our own office roofs, like me on some of my own houses, all of the people that went solar now look a little bit smarter, right? And now you're going to want to do solar because you kind of have to. However, you know what would happen? Solar panels would skyrocket in price too. Everything else with cords of wood, everything would just go up. So I have to come back and ask you guys this. Why, with all of the tax credits, state, local, municipality, sometimes, you know, private companies all have these amazing incentives to save you tons of money. Why, why are you waiting? Why? Is it because of the myth where solar takes 20 years to pay back? Not even in Texas where they don't have any state or local government incentives, okay? Not even in Texas is there a 20 year payback. So you tell me, why are you waiting for prices to now start coming back up? Because solar panels are not gonna get any cheaper, right? The cost of materials, this potential tariff that might be coming in are all gonna push prices back up. It's not gonna be long, right? So we've pretty much hit the bottom and we're going to start climbing up. Workman's comp for the installers, for our guys, go up every year. Insurances, pay raises, rents or mortgages and buildings, everything gets more expensive. Fuel for the vehicles, right? Everything gets more expensive as the years go on. This is pretty much the bottom out period for solar. And you're still sitting around with your hands in your pockets and you have no reason to be. You should do at least be calling a couple of companies, having them come out, because if coal or natural gas prices, okay, what I opened with was like, a, oh my God, like what if that happened, okay? It doesn't need that to happen. All we need is a shortage, is a reason, is some kind of media glitch for them to turn on the TV tomorrow and say, hey, you know what? Um, coal quadrupled in price because of this. It's happened before and it certainly can happen again. And I don't know what you guys are waiting for. You, your children, your grandchildren, and future generations all deserve the environmental benefits of going solar and you don't need to wait any longer. Pick up the phone and you need to call a local couple of companies, have them come out and give you some quotes, whether it's us or anyone else. Just get the ball rolling. You need to commit to solar. You need to commit to your environment. You have an obligation to leave this place a better place than you inherited it, especially if you're parents. Thanks for watching another episode of Solar TV, brought to you by all of us here at Solar Wolf Energy.